So this movie ended up being a whole hell of a lot better than I was anticipating. Now, I don't know too, too much about the lore of Dungeons & Dragons. I've played it a little bit, um, but the the Dungeon Master I played with was ultimately, like, such a controlling dick that it kind of put me off from, like, ever really playing it again. But I played it a little bit, so I, so I know a teeny tiny bit about, like, the kind of characters and the kind of um, adventures and, and monsters that we see. And they brought it all to life. The little bit that I know, they brought it all to life. Now, this isn't the first time we've had a Dungeons & Dragons movie. The first one, you know, I can't even remember the exact title. That's how unmemorable that movie really was. But, like, this one, I think, is going to ultimately be memorable. And not only be memorable, I think it's going to spawn a franchise. And I kind of hope it does. Because this was very well done. We have the usual characters. You know, there's the sorcerer. There's the paladin. There's the uh, the shapeshifter. The warrior. The loot player. <laughs> and, you know, it's... They're all done very well. Like, as an example, Sophia Lillis's character... Like, the trailer makes it seem like she has a kind of a small part. Like, because in the trailer, she's, like, in the background most of the time. Has very very little speaking roles in the trailer but she has a much more like important role than is made out to be chris pine is absolutely fantastic uh michelle rodriguez is a total badass she really does not always get the credit she deserves as an action star because she's usually just stuck to the fast and furious franchise but it's really great to see her be able to branch out into something else that's not Fast and the Furious and in a such a big way that it's noticeable. Sophia Lillis is also fantastic as her character. Um, a, uh, she is a druid, I believe uh, she was, and like she could turn into animals, and one of which is the owl bear. And she's just great. My big surprise, is, though, is Justice Smith, who plays a sorcerer. He's good in this and i want to see more of like his character and then there's hugh grant who <laughs> he is just so good at playing a prick he really is like he found a kind of character he is just damn good at and he has stuck to it recently and like i want to see him play douchebags and pricks and assholes villains in general i want to see more of it because he is so good Daisy Head is also our main, main villain as the Red Wizard. Though, really, since she's a woman, isn't she a witch? I don't know. Whatever. But, you know, she is kind of unsettling. Because pretty much the entire time, she has, like, dead eyes. Like, she's just staring at you. And it feels like she's eating your soul. And ultimately, you know what? The story is fun. Like, the, the climax of the movie... Uh, the big game and the battle with Daisy Head's wizard, witch, whatever, is exciting. The effects are absolutely amazing. Some of the best I've seen recently, because a lot of movies these days, like, the effects suck. With the exception of Avatar, because, you know, the, the studio will give anything to James Cameron, because he's James Cameron, to create the monsters and the animals and... All that, they, they just looked great. Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, is a lot more fun than I was anticipating. I was kind of thinking this was going to be a lame-ass movie. <laughs> but I saw it because I like Chris Pine, because I like Michelle Rodriguez, because I like Sophia Lillis. But what I got was something very, very enjoyable. I give Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, I give it an A. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.